how y'all doing? It's fall. <laughs> okay? And so, if you're alive, you're blessed. So, I'm going to talk to you today about relationships. Now, you know what? I'm not an expert in relationship. <laughs> Don't ask me, y'all, what works and what doesn't work. But I'm telling you what I do know. It's that trash begets trash. The law of nature is that what God put on the earth is everything begets after their own kind. Okay, trash has to beget trash. Now, you would know in the first 10 to 15 minutes, I'm talking about heterosexual relationships, okay? I don't have anything against anybody else, but I'm just, that's what I'm talking about, okay? You would know in the first 10 to 15 minutes of talking to that guy, or probably girl too, but look, you're talking to that guy, the first 10 to 15 minutes, whether or not that guy is trash. You know when people interview for a job, they know kind of what employee, what kind of employee you would make in the first 15 minutes. That's what they all say. But I'm telling you what I know. In the first 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to know if that guy is, a tra is trash or not. You're going to know that. You're going to know. Okay? He's literally trash. Garbage. Okay? Now, if the man is trash, his parents are trash. Because trash begets trash, y'all. Now, I'm not talking about anybody, whether or not they have a three-piece suit on or whether they have jeans on. I'm not talking about that. It's, even the jeans are dirty, which is actually kind of sexy, y'all. <laughs> dirty jeans, that says it's working. Okay, but anyway. Um, you can have rich trash, and you can have poor trash. And you can have, like, people in between trash. But they cut and pick and trash. You cannot expect to get a man who's a halfway gentleman if his parents are trash. You know, sometimes you might need to meet their parents, his parents. You may need to, meet to, need to do that because you understand, okay, they trash. Then what, they, what you got there is trash. I don't care if he wears a three-piece suit. I don't care if he wears jeans. He's trash. He's got him picking trash because trash has to beget trash. Now, I don't care if a man has a college education or not. Now, see, if he has a college education, that is even worse because he's hiding behind that college education. He's hiding the fact that he is trash. He's hiding behind the college education. He's hiding behind the three-piece suit. The fact that he's trash, that he's using it as a mask to hide what he really is. Um... Now, see, a man's going to be trash come hell or high water. Okay? He's going to be God picking trash come hell or high water. So, I'm warning you, ladies, beware of trash. You know, I remember, go back to my college days 30 years ago. Over 30 years ago, really. Taylor. Last name is Taylor. He was trash. No, he wasn't trash. He was garbage. But what's the truth? His parents were trash. Because trash has to beget trash. And he's still trash. He's just ugly, old, and trash. <laughs> he ugly, y'all. He was ugly then. He's ugly now. Okay? Trash begets trash. You cannot get a gentleman out of parents who are, are um, trash. If, the, if that guy is trash, guaranteed his parents are trash. And probably his whole family's trash. But this person I met in college, he wasn't trash, he was garbage, and he still is, but you know what, unfortunately, I have seen a lot of trash in my life, I've seen rich trash, poor trash, black trash, white trash, so I'm telling you ladies, stay away from trash, stay, stay away from the garbage, you would know within the first 10 to 15 minutes of conversations, stay, stay away from the trash, get away, and stay away. Have a nice day.